Today I'd like to show you how we've made developing interfaces for your models a lot easier using a new feature called Designs in Stella Architect 3.0. For me, the most difficult part of developing interface is getting started, especially when I'm staring at a blank page. And a big part of that is, you know, nervousness and anxiety about creating an aesthetic which is attractive and usable by my end users. Well, Designs solves these problems for you. Designs are there to help you easily develop aesthetically pleasing, usable interfaces quickly without having to make everything from scratch. So let me show you how they work. So on the screen right now is a variant of the BAS Diffusion model. All you really need to know about this model is that it runs and produces results. Let's head over to the interface window so that I can show you how to use designs to quickly put together an interface. So the first thing you'll notice is you're not staring at a blank page anymore. We're looking at a basic landing page that we can customize to fit our needs. But let's put that aside for a moment. You'll also see a Get Started button uh, on the page list on the left. When I click that button, you can see that we're presented with a handful of design pages that we can incorporate into our simulation. Let me walk through this dialog with you. On top, you'll see a drop down. And each item in that dropdown is a different design that we can pick pages from to incorporate into our interface. Let me show you how a few of them, uh, let me show you a few of them to help you understand how to pick the right one for your needs. So right now we're looking at a design called Deluxe Tabbed Blue Gold. Let's break that uh, name down piece by piece. First, we have Deluxe. In Stella Architect 3.0, we have grouped our designs into two general categories, the first deluxe and the second basic. The deluxe designs have a lot more elements on their pages and are a lot more developed, but they require that you, the simulation author, spends more time fitting them and you know, customizing them and working with them to get them to work with your specific model. If we click on a basic design, you'll see that they're a lot simpler and they're meant for getting to a published interface very quickly. The next word is tabbed. So if we go back to one of the tabbed interfaces, you can see that there's a series of tabs that allow the users to guide themselves through the content, going wherever they please. The other choice are prev next interfaces. Pre-next um, designs are used in interfaces which are a lot more linear, where the author has determined the appropriate pathway through the content. If you look closely here, you'll see that each page has a back and a next button. The final two words are colors, and they help you pick out a design based upon your preferred color scheme. For those of you who are developing many interfaces in Stella, Stella also gives you the ability to create your own designs or to customize um, the ones that are included in the software. But that's a subject for a different video. So now that I've talked to you about all the different kinds of designs, let me show you the rest of the dialogue. You'll see there's a button which says copy entire design into interface. This button only shows up if you got to this dialogue from the get started button when your model doesn't already have an interface. Pressing this button will replace the empty interface on your model with every page from the design. Finally, at the bottom of this dialog, you'll see a button labeled Add Blank for those of you who'd like to build your interface from scratch. So now that we've gone through this dialog, let's pick a landing page for our simulation. I'm gonna choose the landing page with image. I'll click once on it to incorporate it into my interface. So now we can begin to customize this page to our model. Let's start by double clicking on the text to add a title, like Product Development Simulator, okay? We can also customize the introductory text and I'll say a simulation by Billy Schoenberg. And if I click on the button, we can see that it's already set up to navigate to the next page. So now let's replace this blue box with an image. I double click on it, import from file, and I'll pick a splash screen. Okay, so now we've got 
our landing page all set up. Let's add another page. You'll see that there's now a drop down carrot on the add page button. If I click on that carrot, I get a menu asking if I want to add a new design page or a blank page. In this case, I want a design page. Specifically, I want the simple dashboard for my simple model. So let me scroll through the list of pages here to find it. And here it is. You'll see that there's a logo in the upper left hand corner. I can replace that logo by double clicking on it, importing from file and choosing a logo. I can now go through and hook up the sliders and the charts. So I'll start with this first slider and I'll have this set up the adoption probability for product A. And I'll have this slider do the adoption probability for product B. And this one will do the adoption probability for product C. You'll see that I've got a whole bunch of other controls here which aren't hooked up. Since I don't have anything to put in them, I'm just going to delete them directly off the page by selecting them and hitting the delete button. Now I can come to the chart and set up my outputs. So here I want to show the number of customers for product A, the number of customers for product B, and the number of customers for product C. And just like we deleted the excess user controls, we can delete the excess graph by going to the next page here and hitting the minus button. And then we don't need to display this as uh, tabs. We can just display it as a series of pages as a single graph. Now you'll see that I've got this view assumptions button and it's not something that I'm going to be using. If I double click on it, you'll see that it's set up to navigate to an unknown page. If I had a page I wanted it to go to, I could make it navigate there. But when I hit the delete button, I can't actually delete that button. It's because it's on a template. So if I want to make this button go away, I can right click on it, navigate to the template, and you'll see right here where that button is. I can select it. You'll see I've got the resize handles. I hit delete and it goes away. If I come back to my interface now, you'll see that that button is gone. So now if we go back to the beginning of our interface, we can test it out and see how it'll work. So this is how you can use designs to very quickly put together a nice, usable, aesthetically pleasing interface that you could publish to, for instance, the IC Exchange. So that's all the time we have today for this video. But if you're interested in learning more about designs, check out our online documentation or reach out to support at icsystems.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.